Hi, this is Amar from Developer Relations at BlackBerry. Welcome to my video series on sharing signed builds of your BlackBerry 10 native application with others. In part 1 of this video series, I will show you how to package your application into a signed bar file. And in the second video, I will show how to deploy the created signed bar file onto one or multiple BlackBerry 10 devices. Notice that you have to create your signing account and set up your native environment for signing if you haven't done so already before you continue watching. If you need more information on how to do so, check out my previous video tutorial on this topic under the following title. You can create and sign a bar file for your native application either using the IDE or using the command line tools. Let me first show you how to package your application into a bar file using the IDE. In the Project Explorer in the IDE, right-click on the project and click Export. Under BlackBerry, click to export as Release Build and click Next. This will take you to another dialog where you need to enter your Keystore password. This is basically the same password you specified when you created your developer certificate or your author.p12 file. Once you are done, you will be taken to a second dialog. There, make sure to click the Build Before Export checkbox and select a location to save the bar file. Finally, click Next. Since you are looking for a signed bar file, then on the next dialog, check the Enable Digital Signing checkbox. Once you click Finish, you will be taken to another password entry dialog where you need to enter your CSK password. The CSK password is the password you specified when you created your BlackBerry ID token. Now, simply go to the location you specified and retrieve the created bar file. Now let me show you how to package your application into a signed bar file using the command line tools. The native command line tools become especially useful if, for example, you are running a daily script to create your build or if you are not familiar with the IDE but have the native SDK installed and have access to the project files. If using the command line tools, make sure, however, that the team has compiled the project into binaries in device release mode before you start. This will ensure that the ARM folder of the project is created together with all the files referenced in the bar-descriptor.xml file. So, let's get started. Before you can use any native command line tools in a command window, you need first to set your environment variables. In Windows, Open the Start menu and type CMD in the search box. Right-click the CMD file and click Run as Administrator. When the command window opens, change directory to where you have the BlackBerry 10 NDK installed. That's usually under the C drive in the BB NDK folder. Then run the BB NDK-env.bat file. If you have multiple installations of the native SDK, then choose the one of the SDK release you want to use. Now change the directory to the project's main directory. The next step is to package your app using the native packager tool. The native packager tool uses the bar-descriptor.xml file to package the project assets with its binaries into the bar file. Type and run the following command BlackBerry native packager configuration, then select device release as your build configuration dash package, then specify the desired name and location of your application bar file, and finally specify the bar descriptor.xml file of your application, including its location. You will know the operation was successful when you see this message displayed acknowledging that the package has been created under the specified bar file name. Bar files are created in an unsigned state by default. To sign the bar file you just created, you need to use the BlackBerry Signer tool. In the command window, type and run the following command. BlackBerry-Signer-StorePass then specify your keystore password, which is the password of the author.p12 file. Then finally specify the application bar file you want to sign, including its location. Now you can retrieve the bar file from the project main directory. 
Whether you have chosen to create your bar file using the IDE or the native command line tools, you now have a signed bar file that is ready to be shared with others or to be uploaded to BlackBerry World. That brings us to the end of part one of this video series. In part two, I will show you how to deploy a signed bar file to a BlackBerry 10 device. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comments section below or drop me a tweet at Samar Abdel Sayed. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more BlackBerry developer videos. See you again soon.